Captain Creek, Coach Abel. Uh, I'm a day late with your weekly announcements, but uh, I do have some some information to give to you. So so uh, let's roll. All right. First and foremost, uh, this is the schedule for this week. Uh, I think at this point, it's been pretty consistent. Monday through Thursday, 6 to about 8.30, 8.40-ish. Uh, last week, we, we did a pretty bad job of ending on time. So I'm trying to kind of compromise. We've had some guys kind of struggle to get here on time. There's some guys that are they're, they're still kind of learning uh, how the transitions work, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, so continue to be patient with us as, as we work on this kind of routine and schedule. Uh, but that's, of course, going to be the schedule for this week. Uh, the big event for this week, of course, is going to be physicals. And while it's not oblig obligatory or, or, or mandated that you all have physicals done now, uh, it is a wise decision to do so, okay, especially when we have the free physicals that are going to be taking place on Thursday and Friday. I know there were some, some initial kind of hiccups with this whole process. Sounds like they've kind of been worked out. I think myself and the organization are now on the same page, and we understand how this is all going to work. Hopefully you guys have been able to schedule an appointment so you guys can take advantage of that. And once you do schedule the appointment, uh, they should be sending you guys those forms uh, digitally. For those of you guys that are not going to do the free physicals, that are going to do one with your own doctors, et cetera, that's completely okay. I will post the new forms online, uh, hopefully today. I'm still waiting to see if there's going to be any changes made uh, to those forms. Uh, but look for those to be added to the band app uh, in the next uh, 24 hours or so. All right, we need volunteers. I've got four so far, I need two more. Um, I appreciate those who have reached out uh, that, are, that are gonna help us out with this, it's a big deal. Uh, we need six total, if not a little bit more than six if possible, because uh, this upcoming Saturday is the first day that the Lou City Games will be at full capacity. Um, it's a pretty simple process. You, you let me know that you wanna do it. I send you the link to an online course, you do the online course, and then I, I, I hook up with you so I can get you a, a, a shirt uh, and, and put you in dress code. Then you show up to the event and it's very, very easy. We've had about, uh, I guess say about 15 to 18 parents uh, worked an event of some sort. If you've already worked one, you wanna do it again just for fun, hey, have that. it. Okay, uh, we love it. This will be our last uh, Loose City event of the summer. We'll still do some in the fall. Uh, but this is going to be one of your last opportunities for you all to get a home game pass and a free personalized T-shirt. I'm getting a, a T-shirt made with, you know, Johnny's dad on the back of it or whatever, and a number. And then you get a free game pass, a, a season pass to all of our home games uh, before the season starts. So, like I said, time is money. Your time is more valuable than money. I'd much rather you dedicate your time than to pay, you know, $10 at the gate. So this is how I'm kind of helping you, helping us out with that. Uh, please let me know as soon as possible. We got to have volunteers. We need two more. All right. Uh, other information that you need: our our mandatory freshman parent meeting is Thursday, July fifteenth. That's July fifteenth, not June. July. We're, we'll likely be in the auditorium uh, or the cafeteria. Don't know yet. We'll see what part of the building is open. Uh, varsity people, we've already met. Okay, and if you're a varsity parent, and varsity is anyone that's sophomore to seniors. If, if you have not met with me, you're a new player, something popped up, whatever the case is, uh, let me know and we can schedule a meeting. OK, this is the, the, the best time uh, to kind of air out any concerns. Let me know of some things. We can kind of have a great dialogue about your sons. Uh, they're always really, really productive meetings. So if you haven't had one yet, uh, let's schedule one. Freshman, you guys get a big group meeting for the first year. So, so you all can kind of uh, be introduced to how things go around here. All right. Uh, team dues, as a reminder, is 130 for all upperclassmen, sophomore to senior, 75 for freshmen. Uh, well, I'm going to start taking those payments now, okay? Uh, best thing to do would be cash or check. If you do uh, pay with cash, I'll, I'll give you a receipt. Uh, uh, the check is fine. Obviously, we have documentation of that. I'm working on a digital option. It'll, it'll either be PayPal or something like last year where it's on Weebly or some site like that. I'm working on it. Uh, but I'm having a hard time getting around some of the firewalls of JCPS technology. So bear with me whenever I have that up, have that out there, uh, you know, I'll, I'll send the information out. OK, but as of right now, if you can, let's start rolling that stuff in. Doesn't have to be everything. Um, again, just communicate with me and we'll work something out. But we want to make sure those things start being paid uh, sooner than later. 
very rarely do I promote camps. Uh, camps, in my opinion, are uh, are supposed to be uh, specific to the player. Not all camps are great for all players. Uh, not all players are great for all camps. Uh, these are things that are done with between the coaches and, and the player and sometimes parents you guys are involved. Uh, what I will tell you, though, is one of the best o overall camps that I've seen is the, the USMC, United States Marine Corps. They do a great job. Uh, it's free. Uh, it's always a fun one. I actually work this one, and, and the only camps that I ever work are this one and any camp Coach Montgomery asked me to work. And that's about it. Um, but I, I work it because I believe in what they teach. It's not an exposure camp. I'll be the first to tell you. It's not. I, there, there may or may not be college coaches there. Some college coaches do work these camps, which goes a long way. Uh, but it's always, you know, streamed and thrown on social media, and who knows? Who knows what could happen? Uh, but there's a lot of really, really good techniques and a lot of learning that takes place at this camp. And the best part, it's free. So it's another opportunity for guys to go out and get better and listen to somebody else that, that's not a Front Creek coach. Uh, make sure you register uh, if you're if you or your son are interested. It's, it's Saturday, June 19th. Amazon Smile. Here's my shameless plug. Prime Day is coming. Father's Day. Father's Day is coming. So be sure to uh, to log in and make sure you've you've uh, synced up your, your your Amazon account to the Amazon Smile for Fern Creek football. That way we get a kickback every year uh, or every every month. Last month we got twenty four dollars to the organization from everybody buying stuff. Probably my wife. My wife's been doing a bunch of Amazon. All right, reminders, bring water and mask every day. COVID is not over. We had to kind of remind the guys before we were still very much uh, paying attention and doing things the right way. Uh, so make sure that we're masked up when we come in. Dress code, Fern Creek colored shirt, black shorts, tennis shoes, and cleats. Tennis shoes and cleats. Got to have both. We're, at, we're trying to encourage the guys to leave that stuff in the lockers instead of taking them home. As always, we've had some a weird forecast, man. It's been a really, really wet June. Uh, we're always practicing, okay? We won't go out into a storm. I, I hope you guys understand that we'll keep these guys as safe as we can uh, or as safe as, as, as possible while they're here at practice. Uh, we do not cancel because of weather. We have enough space around this place that we can figure something out. We can be productive, okay? Uh, every day is valuable. Every day is an opportunity to improve, and we're here every day. Okay, very, very rarely will I ever cancel practice due to, to weather stuff. Like we've talked about before, if it's a monsoon, if it's tornado and it's time for practice, obviously stay home until everything passes. But we're here. That that field has ain't going nowhere. Okay. Last thing, this is a reminder, and this is new to you freshman parents, but to my varsity parents, just something to continue to, to press upon with your young men. Communication, consistency, and control. You gotta, you gotta do it. We got to have communication. It's the it's the a lifeline and how we we make sure that we uh, avoid problems before they become problems. And we got to be consistent. And lastly, we we got to start being uh, on the same page and letting our sons know that you know they do have some control over their circumstances. Uh, we we want to raise victors, not victims. Okay, uh, and, and that's just our personal belief. And we know that you know from our conversation with you that you guys are on board. So just kind of help us. Uh, kind of push that home. Okay. That's all I got for you. Hopefully this video is not too long. Uh, hey, hope is greater than fear. Here's hoping for a, a great week and, and no rain. Coach Abel out.